Hi there everybody, today we are going to look at surds um, and specifically expanding brackets with surds, alright? So if I'm expanding brackets with surds, we'll just do it like normal brackets um, but obviously every, everything that's outside the bracket multiply everything that's inside the bracket um, but of course this is about really your kind of knowledge of what to do when, when multiplying surds together so um, that's what we're going to look at anyway so it's kind of a combination of expanding brackets and multiplying surds so two separate lessons there if you've not done those before so please look at expanding brackets and obviously look at the lessons in terms of surds so you understand what to do when you're doing those before you look at this one right anyway so let's have a look so if i'm going to do root two times five all right so that's going to be five root two and then i'm going to do root two times root two which is the other one so that's the first bit so those two and then those two well that is just five root two um, but this one over here um, is root 2 times root 2. Well, I've got two root 2s, it becomes root 4, um, which of course is 2. Okay, so there's a quick way of thinking about that one. If you do square root times the square root, it just becomes the number itself. Uh, but also, when I do thirds, root 2 times root 2 is root 4, which of course is 2. two. All right, so I'm going to have 5 root 2 plus 2. That's my final answer. All right, so. So if I'm times in a timesing a whole number by a third, then they just go next to each other. If I'm times in two thirds, then I can type the two thirds, it becomes root four. But of course, if they're both the same, then it ends up being just two. Okay. So let's have a look at another one um, where I've got a little bit more kind of going on. All right, the same kind of process involved though. I'm going to do three, three root five times root five, and I'm going to do three root five times two root seven. All right, so let's do it in its two stages. So three root five times root five, and 3 root 5 times 2 root 7. Okay, so let's do these two first. Well, 3 is the only whole number, so I'm going to do 3 times um, both of these two times together. So root 5 times root 5 is 5, times by the 3 is going to give me 15. Okay, so there you can see, so I've got the root 5s, which square times together give you root 25, which of course becomes 5, and then times by 3, so it's going to become 15. Oh, so that's that bit. Over here, well, I've got the 3 and the 2, so that becomes 6. And because, obviously, these these root 5 and root 7 are different, I'm just going to times them as normal, so it's going to give me root 35. So it's going to become 6 root 35. I'm going to bring them together. So that's my two things. So I now need to bring them back up here to put them together. So my answer is going to be 15 plus 6 root 35. All right, so you can see from there, obviously, there's quite an awful lot going on. You've just got to do it very carefully in its stages, all right, and, and be very, very appreciative of the fact that the surge can time together and the numbers can time together and then only after the event like this one over here do I try and decide if or not I've got to bring them together or not if I've got two whole numbers for example whereas over here I couldn't I can do the whole numbers I can do the two thirds but that's all I could potentially do all right so let's have a look at double brackets well double brackets is I guess is no different um but you've you've got more calculations kind of going on so you're going to expand the double bracket like you would do a normal double bracket. So again, if you've not done that one before, please have a look at expanding double brackets on another lesson. Um, but we're going to do it this time with thirds. So carefully does it. We're going to do the 4 times 5 first. All right, so that times that is going to give you 20. You're going to do then the, let's see which other one does next. Yeah, the root 2 times the root 2, which is going to be root 4, which is therefore going to be 2. All right, we just saw that a minute ago. And then we're going to do it underneath. So we're going to do the 4 times the root 2, which is just going to be 4 root 2, because one's a whole number and one's just a third. All right. And then we're going to do this one, which is going to be 5 root 2, okay? which is that one there. All right. So you'll end up with that lot. So now we just look to simplify. Um, well, that's 22, because they're two whole numbers. And then we've got 4 root 2s and 5 root 2s. And as mentioned before in another lesson about idea of thinking root twos, well, these essentially are like x's. Um, so we've got like 4x and 5x, which is going to be like 9x. So we'll call it 9 root 2. So 22 and 9 root 2 is going to be our final solution when we simplify it. All right. So just carefully does it bit by bit by bit. And obviously your understanding of surge needs to be fairly secure when you're doing it. All right. So please, obviously, um, visit mass-school.co.uk if you want some additional practice on it. Thanks for listening.